So in this video, we're going to walk through how we can use the trace functionality of SWI Prolog to help debug our Prolog programs. So you can see in this top window, I have a Prolog program that has some facts about languages, then some more facts about which languages are the official languages for whatever purpose we're using these rules for. And then finally, our knowledge base has a rule that allows us to find out what types of languages that we can use on a project. So in this case, it has to be an official language, and then we wanna make sure that it's both object-oriented and functional. So if I enter project language, X. If you look at the rules, you can see that C is only imperative, whereas C++ and Python are both object-oriented and functional. However, Python isn't an official language, and so therefore we would expect this to return C++. And of course, I need to spell it correctly. And you'll notice I don't get any answers. And the reason for that is, is I have a bug. So if I type trace, you'll notice I get a slightly different prompt. And now if I run my rule, Again, it's gonna prompt me to correct it, so I'll say yes. And then as I hit the space bar, you'll notice it creeps along, and now instead of X, we have this underscore 8020. You can think of that as a reference to that variable. So now you can see that it's trying to unify official language with that variable, and then it unifies it with the atom C. So now it's gonna to check to see is C object-oriented, which it's not. So now we have to look for a different official language. So now we'll try Java. Java is object-oriented, so that succeeds. Now we're going to look to see is Java functional, and it's not. So we go all the way back to our official language. We pick a new one. Now we say C++. Is C++ object-oriented? And notice this fails. Now that should be a surprise for us because we had a rule for that. So notice as I creep through, it can eventually ends. And if I want to stop the trace, I can do no trace, and that will get me into neat, to the debug mode and I can say no debug, and I'm back to a normal prompt. The reason this rule failed is because this query failed, essentially. So now, why would that fail? Well, notice this is object-oriented, just C+. I needed to say C++. And so now, if I want to do my query again, it still says false, and that's because I haven't consulted. And now it gives me C++ because I fixed my rule. So trace is something you can use to see how Prolog is unifying your query with your knowledge base, and it can give you some insights. Another thing to keep in mind is you can think of these as just references for the variables. And if you have multiple variables, they'll have different values, and you can compare those values as you go through each of these queries here to see what exactly each of those variables is being unified with.